Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to explain you about the data step processing in SAS, uh, like how the data step process in the SAS programming. So uh, in general, if you see any data set, it has variables and values. So these are the variables name. You can see that is, you know, uh, marked in red. And these are the values under that variables. So these variables can be numeric or it can be a character variable. So numbers are basically numeric variables. For example, age, height, and weight. These are the numeric variables. But if you see the name and sex, these are the character variables. So character variables can be a letter. You can see a word or sentence or a number can be a character variables as well uh, and also like a special character. So, for example, if you want to read any data set in a SAS, how uh, we can proceed. So you can simply uh, see in my next slide. Uh, so for this, for example, this is a raw data. So it has a name and this is the height and this is the weight. And if I wanted to read this raw data, uh, that is a notepad in a SAS, what I have to do that? I have to write a program in SAS and this is uh, the program I actually wrote here and uh, this is the location of that, that files. I have to provide that location here in in file statement. When, the, you, when you run this program, you will get an output and a log. So in log, you will clearly say that, uh, you know, how many records were read and a new data is generated, which has two observations and four variables. And at the end, you will get an output. Uh, you can see this is the output of uh, work X1, and it has all the uh, values in these variables. So you can notice that, uh, you know, there is a fourth variables, which is BMI is actually calculated from height and weight. And that's why uh, this calculation is done and you will get a uh, value in BMI variable as well. Uh, this is the program I wanted to show you live that how we can perform uh, SAS programming and read a raw data. So this is a text to file. You can see these are the variables name is mentioned as I explained uh, you earlier. So I just have to uh, designate uh, the location of this file. So this is text to file. You can go to the property and you can copy the location of this file. You can simply paste this location here in in file statement. And when you you can see that these are the variable name, height, and weight, uh, which are actually provided here in the text to file. But the fourth variables BMI we have to calculate from weight and height. So uh, when you run this program, uh, you can see this is running, and you will get an output here. So this is the four variables are generated here. So and in log you can see. Uh, no error and warning message are here. If there is an, any error or you know a warning, you can see um, a log, um, you know, warn you about that uh, the program is not uh, run well, and if there is an, any issue, uh, you know, in the programming. So uh, this is how you can run a program, and you will generate a SAS dataset here. So um, this is how uh, when everything is fine. But I will explain you uh, if there is an error in, uh, you know, data. For example, we have another data set here. So this is a test um, data uh, where the numeric variables has a, uh, you know, letter D here. So it's, this is not a correct data because numeric variables only read uh, numbers, not uh, any character. So uh, I wanted to show you that what will happen when you try to read this data. So let me see uh, how it goes. So it must copy, uh, you know, your data set here and just designate this location uh, in in file statement. And now uh, when you run this program, uh, it will generate, uh, you know, another file uh, work X1 uh, here as well. But you can see the weight and BMI is missing here like, you know, so you can go in, uh, into log and check that what is happening here. So you can see uh, there is an error message here. You can see uh, invalid data for weight in line one. So this is n is equal to one underscore n underscore n. That means observation one. And if underscore error underscore uh, or is, uh, is equal to one, that means there is an error. So you can see name is uh, read correctly, height also read correctly, but weight is missing 
and BMI is also missing because BMI is calculating uh, using the height and weight. So, you know, one value is missing and that's why the, our output is not correct. So this is, uh, you know, if there is an issue in your data at uh, how it goes actually. So in previous example, I showed you that how a raw data is actually read through the SAS programming and output is uh, generated out of that. So how it is happening? So basically, uh, you know, the data processing is uh, happening in SAS in two phases. First one is compilation phase and the second one is execution phase. Compilation phase is actually it compiles the data set and it's read uh, the data and check for the syntax like if any syntax error is there or not and it also creates a uh, three important uh, part of the data set and uh, that is uh, an input buffer a program data vector and descriptor information so these all uh, you know steps are happening in the uh, memory in the background and in the execution phase basically um, it read the data and analyze it and finally out of that a data set actually created so if i will go to further details about the compilation phase uh, you can see that after receiving the sas statement from the sas program it go for the uh, syntax error checking and after that it convert the uh, code uh, syntax or the SAS syntax into machine code and machine code basically what is happening here it identify the type and length of the variables and determine if there is any conversion uh, is necessary from character to numeric or numeric to character so as I said that you know the compilation phase has a three part the first one is the input buffer so in input buffer it uh, read uh, you know one each record of the raw data is actually uh, through the input statement and uh, I can um, tell you that input buffer generated only when you are reading a raw data if you are reading any SAS data input buffer will not be generated and after that program data vector so one observation at a time uh, you know PDV brings one observations uh, only at a time and it's generate two automatic variables one is for the number of observation and the second one is for error so underscore n underscore is equal to one that means uh, this is the first observation and if underscore error underscore is one that means there is an error and if the value is zero for this uh, that means uh, there is no error so in the program data vector it is happening and after that a descriptor information is actually generated and that maintain the informations of the each SAS data sets including the data set attributes and uh, variables attributes so I will go further uh, you know um, as uh, showed you in my previous um, you know slide that how the data is processing when you submit a raw data through and uh, you designate that location of that raw data and you run a program and output is actually uh, generating out of that so in the background what is happening there is a compilation phase and you know, there is execution phase so i will go if you uh, you know i will go further in uh, in depth about that processing that what is happening in the background so this is uh, my raw data where i am trying to read it through this program so as i said that first compilation phase uh, will uh, you know occur and this is the input uh, buffer is actually um, generated you can see that the first record is actually read here this is the name this is the height and this is the weight so and after that PDV is generated PDV has two variables as I said that uh, one is number of observation and second one is for error and the name of all other variables is actually you know assigned here so then um, and after that the finishing of the compilation phase it goes to the execution phase so what is happening in the execution phase so in execution phase uh, since this is reading first data set that means our first one is underscore n underscore is equal to one which is the first observation and at the start of the program the error is zero that means no uh, error is there and all the values for the all other variables are assigned you know missing there 
and when it start reading you know input statement it will assign value to all these missing variables so you can see like you know uh, the name uh, variables is assigned uh, with the name Barbara and height is assigned here since uh, in this program the raw data is not in a correct format you can see that you know uh, here weight is assigned uh, with a character variable and it's supposed to be a numeric and that's why this is showing a missing value here again and you know BMI is also missing because it's calculating uh, using this uh, wrong uh, uh, data value so and at the end of that you know an output is generating and you can see that these variables name and this is the you know values of those variables so this is happening and it is reading the first observation so this is called the first iteration now the program again it will go to the uh, execution phase uh, again and it will try to read the second observation you can see that the n underscore n underscore is the you know, value assigned is 2 that means it's reading a second observation and as i said at the beginning uh, error is zero and all other variables values are also missing so when I start reading from the input buffer in execution phase it um, uh, you know all the variables is actually you know started filling here you can see that and after that the BMI is calculated based on the formula we provided in the program so BMI is also you know assigned here now and ultimately the second uh, observation is also completed so this is called the third iteration and in the similar way if there are more observations are there it will again read and again assign the value in the P input buffer and then from input buffer to pdv and finally in the output so this is how it's read again and again in a cycle and completed the output data set so this is all in one shot just for you know easy understanding this is the compilation phase this is the execution phase so after the completion of the compilation phase it goes to the first iteration and then second iterations and likewise it goes to uh, third or fourth iterations if there are more data so this is a nice schematic i'm showing you that how the input data uh, set is going you know observation wise into um, compilation and execution phase and one by one is coming in the output uh, data set uh, as a number of observ observation one and this is um, you know working like a repetitive executions uh, in like a loop actually and for the easy understanding i draw uh, this uh, nice schematic you can see that how the input set, uh, data set is reading throw the buffer and go to the PDV and finally coming out as an output um, data set and this is all it is happening in a logical memory so this is all about uh, the data processing in the data set and I hope that you like uh, this video thank you very much